there are different types of plagiarism, and I'm not sure people are aware of the different types, but they range in grade and they range in sort of how offensive they are to the professor or to the person that's discovering the plagiarism. First there is the intentional plagiarism, the willful plagiarism, the total plagiarism where someone just takes someone else's paper. It could be something they downloaded from the internet, it could be a paper that they have a friend or a loved one write, it could be a paper that they borrow from someone else and they submit it as their own work. This is what we would call total plagiarism. The student is completely completely complicit, they know the entire thing is not theirs, but they submit it as if it is theirs. This is what is the most offensive, the most egregious, this is what we sick our hounds on. Um, this is when you're going to see the dean get disqualified from institutions, that's sort of the worst type of plagiarism. There's other plagiarisms in the middle, however, um, that we would sort of consider substantial plagiarism or occasional plagiarism, where someone might, again, willfully take whole passages from an article they found online, from Wikipedia, from a website, from, from a book, from some other source, and they act like this paragraph, this page, was their own ideas. It's not like they downloaded the entire paper. Part of the paper is their own, but they're still selling a bill of goods, right? They're still taking a chunk of the material that is isn't theirs and they're acting like it is theirs. I think the plagiarism that most professors are kind about when they see is accidental plagiarism or what we would call buddy plagiarism. Accidental plagiarism is when someone simply forgets to put a parenthetical citation. You can tell when you're grading the paper that they're doing a good job, they have a good work cited page. In general, they're citing things, but there might be a handful of of uh, citations, paraphrases, summaries typically that suddenly are just missing a parenthetical citation. They haven't been introduced and we just wonder where this material came from. That's typically accidental. It's just someone forgot to put a citation there and people tend to be a little bit more kind about that. Bakersfield College, like every college and university, has a code of academic honesty. Plagiarism violates that code. Teachers have a variety of responses, which include giving a failing grade for that assignment and not allowing a student to make it up. If that assignment is 10, 15, 20, 25 percent of the course grade, that's going to be a huge hit. The student, even if the student does well on other assignments, may find that he or she can't possibly earn a passing grade in the course. Other teachers can be more lenient. So plagiarism is very very serious. Even the lenient teachers who give students another chance, this is not going to help the student if the student won't help himself or herself actually learn how to write his or her own papers. Concerned. Why do we care if you cheat? Why do we care what was a group project? Well, we care because it goes to integrity. And in the discipline of nursing, integrity is what our patients expect. If you've ever been in the hospital or you've been to the doctor, you expect your doctor's going to be honest, that they're going to tell you the truth. And all of those um, characteristics tie into integrity. And what we like to see in students coming to us is that you come with a sense of what it means to have integrity. Sometimes the habits that you're developing in high school translate into the habits that you develop in college, which then takes you to the next step of your life, those same habits in the workplace. And any employer loves an employee who has the integrity and the honesty and the wherewithal to be able to work in a team as well as recognizing good characteristics and good skill sets. 